you'll start noticing pains in your body and how does your mind react to those pains? Is it, does it get angry? Um, does it get fidgety? Do you get, yeah, like what happens? And that's, that's the mind to body relationship experience that you become more aware of. Progress is perfection. Like you always, in yoga, you call it a practice. Okay. It's because you're always getting better. There's never any perfect way to be all the time, constantly. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that you show up and that you're present. I fractured my tailbone uh, in half and then my L4 smashed into my L5. It's called a burst compression fracture. So within my spinal cord, my vertebrae itself actually like almost mini like exploded. So there was like a tiny little half a centimeter piece of it left attached to the spinal cord and then the rest of the bone fragments were inside the spinal cord. Now the conspiracy of miracles thing happened in the sense that the doctor said that within like the width of two human hairs, none of the bone fragments moved to actually sever any nerve endings in my spinal cord because once- It's built upon the identity that we've created once we were born. Mm -hmm. But the essence of us is really just like this consciousness, you know, and this consciousness, if you strip away the body and strip away the mind, and strip away your identity, then whatever is left, that's what was in the past lives. And that thing gets carried on over and over, and that thing never dies. Third eye is like the pineal gland, and a lot of ancient um, teachings believe in, in this gland that allows you to have intuition, it allows you to have this sense of... Sixth sense. Yeah, sixth sense of, yeah, like really vivid, vivid dreams. Um, and some of these substances are designed to shut you down so that you're blind, so that you're not awoke, so that you can't see through the bullshit of some authority figures in the system and this establishment.